just want to share uh, that the Salvation Army is helping St. Louis County residents only. They're helping with rent. Uh, they're helping with electric bill, gas bills, sewer bills, water bills, um, and things like that. It was something under the CARES, the CARES Act. They were awarded $1.3 million, you know, to help people in St. Louis County. And it's only St. Louis County. I'm sorry, you know, the city may have something. I just don't know. Um, but there's three different locations. There's a central location uh, at Family Haven. The phone number is 314-423-7770. And then they have a north location at the Ferguson Community Empowerment Center. Uh, it's 314-528-5200. And then they have a south location. And why do they have all these south these locations and it's only in the county? I guess these are county. St. Louis County. Okay, sorry. And then they have a South location. It's uh, Gateway uh, Corporation. Uh, the phone number 314-631-1133. You done? I am done. Oh, shoot. Sorry. You got your stuff off, huh? Yeah. I wanted to. Put it in, Tucker. Wanted to help, help the people. people. Yeah, help people out. Like everybody should know. Apply and see, you know, if they get it. What it do? Hey y'all! This is a uh, second episode of Mister and Mrs. Mac. You dig? Yay! Uh. First, I really want to say, I'm so sorry. We uh-huh. got really, really good reviews. I was, um, you know, I asked people to give me your opinion, how you, you know, what you thought about it, you know, uh, give me some pointers, and I am really, really happy with the, you know, reviews that we got. And I appreciate everybody for giving me your, you know, your feedback. I really do appreciate that. Right. Shout out to y'all. Now we need y'all to do is tell some niggas to follow Urban Access Share on, it, um, y'all. on IG. And uh, listen to the cast, man. Send the link to some people. You know what I'm saying? Did you say follow Urban Access? Did I say follow? I did. You did. So My I man. need for you all to follow Mr. and Mrs. Mac 314 on Instagram. Yeah. But you can follow Urban Access, too. I've been doing too much. That's okay. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. Uh, flat out, how was your week, baby? You know, it was it was, it was was long. <laughs> it was okay. It was all right. I Shoot, we made it through. And yesterday was rough. It was rough. Straight up. Yeah, yesterday was a little rough. Yeah. I'm not a morning riser, and yesterday I had to, I had to get up real early. It wasn't real early. It was 5 o'clock. Uh, yeah, I'm, people go to work at 5 o'clock. People be at work at 5 o'clock They absolutely do. That's a fire schedule for me. Like, I go to work at 4. You let me work at 4 to 12, 30, cuz? You all on it, I know. Shoosh. <laughs> you talking about getting off at 12, 30 on Friday? Yeah. That's the lick. Now, see, if the thing is, okay, <laughs> I'm in nursing and I'm in management. The thing is, you can't, there's no telling what's going to happen in the day. I can get there at 5 o'clock. If something goes on, I'll be there until 5 o'clock in the evening. Like, that's horrible. <laughs> I mean, yeah, but that's what you signed up for. And I get it. So that's why I go in, I try to go in at 8. Uh huh. And I know I can go in. I must. I've been going in at nine because I've been trying to help Ari with virtual learning and everything. But I'm trying to fluctuate a little, little more. We talked about that already. Yeah. All right. But um. Yeah, my week was cool, man. Finish uh, it's over. Finish editing a uh, bottom video. I still gotta do a couple of touches. Shiny's supposed to be coming to pick it up today. But yeah, you know what I'm saying? Did oh, that. shout out to his wife, Kamisha. It's her birthday. Happy birthday. birthday. Happy birthday, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Look, give us some, uh, what can we give her on the board? <laughs> oh, my God. Let me give her a hand clap. I'll give yeah. her a hand clap. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, did that. It's over. And um, yeah. Okay. You did? We get to spend time this weekend. All right. So uh, what's popping? What's popping, babe? 
Me and wife, we trying to do a staycation. They hating on us, though. You know what I'm oh saying? Oh, my God. I got to call. I got to make sure I hey, call. Hey, big hey. <clears throat> I got to make sure I call. But, uh, yeah, what you want to start with? Um. Oh, Jesus Christ. What do you want to start with? <laughs> All what right. you want to start with? You want to start with John Gray? You want to start with the preacher? <laughs> <laughs> no, this is not a funny, this is not a joking matter, but. Uh, hold yes. up. Yes. All right, we're going to start, you want to start with John. Let me, let yes. me. Yes. Let me start first. Let me go real quick with this with his quote <laughs> that he put out. Okay, start with the quote. Quote. This man said, I'm a man who needs the same Jesus I preach about. Really, sir? Yeah, I mean, well, first of all, no. we got to let the people know what happened. I don't understand, but there go the quote. I was like, go ahead. I'm sorry. I'll let you start. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? We got to. Some people probably already know. We gotta take him to church. <laughs> you so hey, the preacher. How many times he didn't cheat, baby? He didn't treat. He didn't cheated three times, y'all. Oh lord! And he's a preacher. He a preacher. Well, I cried and I cried. What's wrong with him? I'm mad. You mad? I'm I'm very mad. Like this nigga tripping, dog. This is not okay. This nigga tripping. Oh, yeah, yeah. The, uh, what my quote nigga quote Gary with again. the T say? The uh, <laughs> what? the prayer warriors need to be solicited. <laughs> Gary All right. Yeah, so this oh, nigga Lord. John Gray, right? This man the preacher, you know what I'm saying? This is third time getting caught cheating. Okay. If you don't know how he look, all you gotta do is Google him. You can go to YouTube, type it in, everything, you're gonna see everything. What's your boy call him? Baby Jake. Baby Jakes. He looked like T D Jake's little brother. Okay. Now, the first time, I don't know what happened the first time. The first time he got caught, it was in public. The second time, though, was substantially, you know how they say serial killers graduate by the crime? Like, them just strangling you ain't enough no more. Now they got to cut your arm off. You know what I'm saying? Oh, my God. James. And then once they do that for three months, they got to take your two legs. Oh, Lord. Right. You know what I'm saying? So. He did it again. This nigga did it again the second time. At the Stella Awards. At the Stella Awards. Now, if you don't know what the Stella Awards is, like everybody knows what Stella Awards is. If you don't, you need to, you got a lot of research <laughs> to do. But he did it again at the Stella Awards. Mm -hmm. Got a room with the chick. Mm. At the same hotel his wife, him and his wife were staying in. Like, it's just low down. Like, it's really low down. Like, what, bro? He paid this girl BMW off. This number two. He paid this girl BMW off. Is this the one he bought a Lambo for? Nah. He paid, he paid he bought the Lambo for his wife. That was a uh Because he said yeah, that was yeah, a gift. Yeah, yeah the number two time, got sorry. his wife. Number two got his wife a new Lamborghini. Yes. But he was finna pay this girl daughter uh tuition through school. Yes. And then on top of that, the man is dogging his wife out to the women. And That's wait, like, come on, cuz. You didn't even mention that the second time, this is when he did a press run. Oh, yeah, he did a press run after he got caught about, uh, you know, Queens and, and uh, the black woman and how the black woman is the rib mm. and the solar instinct of a man. He went on TV shows, talk shows, talking about this. Like, it, that woman has to be hurt. Like, that hurts. Yeah. Flat out in public, like come on, yeah, whatever. Yeah, this Horrible. nigga. I don't know what's wrong with this nigga, man. This nigga tripping, cause flat out, like. So now he out this third time. The third time, and he trying to say that it's only conversation now. It's only conversation. Right. Like what? Now, hold up, cause I got the woman name Marie. Or damn it, was it Mary Brown? Mary Brewer, Mary or Marie Brewer. You know what I'm saying? It's one of them two. You can't you can't go wrong with one of them two. You feel me? 
So how her and John met was her and her brother's father, I think, had passed. Her father was a preacher. John went to go help with the funeral arrangements and all of that, I think. And then all this alleged, you know what I'm saying? Because I ain't got no money, cuz, so don't right. sue me. All this is just hearsay. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? It's all alleged. But they met there. So ended up, you know what I'm saying? She, uh, they ended up reaching out to each other on, uh, no, nah, he started liking her pictures and stuff, and he started right. commenting. So, she he asking her where she work at. She told him. <laughs> Next thing you know, she like he called my job out the blue, and you know what I'm saying. Oh. It was like I'm coming down to Houston. You know what I'm saying. Like you know what I'm saying. I want to spend some time with you. You know what I'm saying. And um, next thing she knows, she she told him. You know what I'm saying. She was cool. He was like, I'm working on some stuff for your brother. So, you know what I'm saying? He, like, winging her in through the church. Oh, God. You know what I'm saying? So, after that, the nigga showed up at her job in his wife's Porsche. In his wife's Porsche. Mm Mm-mm-mm. Now, see. Now, listen. Is this, did he have the son? The son was on the phone call. The son was on the phone call. The son was on the phone call that the girl had. They had to take that down because the wife was going to sue. But allegedly, he was was dogging his wife out, saying his wife don't cook. And he had his son in the background. His son talking about, yeah, we don't eat nothing but the journals. So I just, I mean, it just takes us to like a whole nother. Like this opened a whole can of conversation, (laughs) y'all. Hold oh, up, we ain't done okay, it. This I'm nigga sorry. did more. Oh my god, go ahead. So the nigga pulled up to the job, and um, mm. you know what I'm saying. Told old girl come outside. She came outside, sat in the car. You know what I'm saying. Her occupation is a beautician. You know what I'm saying. So mm. she came out, got in the car, and this nigga gonna say, "You don't look like." No, Triple D. She said that she oh sent God. them some pictures, but she screenshotted some pictures off the internet and sent them them pictures of her motherfucking uh, juggalugs. I don't understand. Okay, so when he saw her, he like, yeah, you don't look like you know Triple D. Like, let me see. Like, show me. Like, that's so, like. She said, I want to pull my chest out in the car, out in front, of my, in front of my him. workplace. So then he was trying to get her to come back to the Houston crib. And, um, you know, he was trying to go to Pound Town. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Straight up. Ignorant. It ain't funny. You know what? I know it's a lot. Y'all need an intermission. I got you. Man, what's wrong with this dude, man? It's, uh, I don't like, bro. You wilding. I don't understand. Oh man, I got apologies too. I got two of them. It's- if y'all want to give an offering, y'all can give an offering to uh, the cash app. What's the cash app? Mister and Mrs. McGill. Mister and Mrs. McGill. Come on now. Oh my God. <laughs> Right. He is so silly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but yeah. Mm-mm-mm. So I don't know, like, what's wrong with what's wrong with them? You don't know what's wrong with him. What's wrong with him is the nigga just need to get a divorce. That's what's wrong with the to. nigga. Nigga, if you want to fuck, then you just <laughs> get a divorce, bro. I don't. Why well, stay? You know what? It's because he's a preacher. And he's trying to front in front of his congregation. Like, you can't do this. What he's trying to do is, for real, he's just trying to flex his power. And that's not okay. Yeah. That's not okay. Like, I mean, but it's very common in the church. That's ridiculous. What I don't understand is how 
Now, peep this. This Ooh. deep. This deep right here. This okay. deep right here. Right. If a Catholic preacher, or they ain't call it a preacher, what they call a priest? Mm-hmm. Priest. If a if a priest get caught having sex with a member, or you know, most commonly, allegedly, little boys. Yes. But they get denounced. Like they can no longer preach at all. Right. That don't happen in uh why the Christian community don't do that? I don't know. It it this, this like it should the be the whole situation. It should be sad. some like, board. I don't even know. It should be some board where like these preachers, mm-hmm. female and male, should have to go to to like answer to these things. Like, bro, we cannot have you leading God's people and you out here fucking <laughs> off. You out here sinning. Big sinning, because nigga, three married. times. You married, bro. And that's why I didn't understand the quote. He yeah. was, he was, <laughs> the I first was, time I gave you, you know, you had just got your power. We're human. You, know, we you make was trying mistakes. to flex. I was like, okay, my boy messed up. He good. The second time, I was like, oh, this nigga going crazy. You got a hotel. You got a ho- a room for this girl in the same hotel you and your wife stand in. Like this is so embarrassing to this wife. Like, oh this yeah, is just so I feel so sorry for her. Like I am so sorry. Yeah. Like her hurt has to that pain. Like I don't even ever want to feel that pain. Yeah. But I, I am sorry. Yeah. He is ridiculous. He needs to step down. Yeah, he needs to step down. Totally step down. Yeah. But like this All goes and like this is just. Oh. Flat out, but this should be a board that make. I totally agree that make with preachers you. do this. I wonder who like over preachers that take money from the church. Who's over the priest then that makes them step down? The Catholic board. I don't know they the Pope. A- oh yeah, the Catholic got tears. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They they shit like the Masons. Wow. I think you got grand uh, grand priests. Yeah. Grand <laughs> national priests. You know what I'm saying? Royal priests. Okay. Yeah, it's a hierarchy. You know what I'm saying? You're right. You're right. You're right. In the in the black church, niggas just crooked, and for some reason, the black people just keep going. Mm, mm, mm. Uh, like ain't nothing wrong. Like ain't nothing wrong. I got um freaking sinning, and we all sin. We all human. Don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to judge nobody, but I'm just giving my opinion about how I feel. This is, I feel it's ridiculous. Man, I'm judging this nigga. You don't. You can't leave bro, you somebody three times, bro. And then, and you a preacher, bro. You a grown ass your man. Wife. Come on now. You, you want to be single? Man, I completely get it that you want to be single. Go be single. Leave this woman. Let her know you don't want her anymore. Right? Aren't there? There's single preachers out here, aren't there? It, it's preachers that didn't got divorces. Okay, like come on. Like old boy. Come on. What's old man girl up. off the view? That uh, the home wrecker. The home wrecker. <laughs> off the view that took uh Israel. What's his name? I don't. I want to say Holland. No. The girl on the view. You know the girl on the view that started dating the music Shirley, the uh, gospel mean, music dude. Come on now, don't do I this. I don't know the view cast. Are you looking it up? Yeah, let me see the view cast. Who's don't look for the view cast. Look up uh the view home record. <laughs> Flat out. She ain't right. What? Um James, you crazy. <clears throat> Hold on, y'all. We looking, we looking, we looking. We, are, we, we trying to get y'all the facts. Baby, you know yeah, this is not going to... You crazy. I don't know if the view home record. Why, why did I even listen to okay. you? You say what? You you type that in for real? No. Flat out. Uh, let's see. I got it. It's coming up. It's coming up. You know what I'm saying? Let's see. What's her name? Adrian Bayline. Hey. Oh, Adrian. Oh, the one Nigga, from off the Cheetah Girls. Don't, please don't act like. What if you would have said the Cheetah Girls? <laughs> I said Adrian. Then you're going to say, oh, Adrian. Like, you know her. Like, you don't know no, who I was talking about. She, I mean, I didn't, but if you would have said, she, you would have gave me more clues. Okay, we're getting off topic. Okay, whatever. All right, go ahead. Yeah, Adrian. Yeah, he got a divorce from his wife. He ain't no preacher, but, you know, he's still in the church big time. Oh my God. You know what I'm saying? So I, right, what you want to hear first? Y'all want to hear you want to hear old girl first, or you want to hear this nigga apologies first? I'm gonna let you hear old girl first. 
Oh my god, you got um. Uh, oh yeah, I got I got back facts. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Get your teapot ready. Oh my god, James. <laughs> Flat out. Ah. Well, I can't hear nothing. Okay, hold on. the picture, and I was like, oh, he said because I caught. Can't- all right, yeah, this is the girl. Allegedly. Oh, this is alleged. <laughs> Exclusive. This is on Unwind with Tasha K. He said I responded. I said, oh, I didn't receive the response. And then I guess he talked to my brother, and then he deleted the picture. But that was, you know, it was very nice or whatever. So then the picture got deleted. And then when I was talking to him a couple of weeks ago, I said, he said, he said, who do you think deleted the Oh, he said, because I called, and he said, I responded. I said, oh, I didn't receive the response. And then I guess he talked to my brother, and then he requested me on Instagram. And I've never bothered him. He And he, he sent me a message saying, asking me how my brother was doing. I said, he good. His daughter's holding him down. He's doing all right. And, Look at this nigga. You know, he'll like to see my posts on Instagram. And then, um, about, I would say, a month ago, he asked me where I work at. I'm a hairstylist here in Houston. So I didn't think nothing of it. I didn't give him my address or anything. I just told him the name and where it was located in Houston. Because I guess he just had a birthday in the end of June. He said, you know, you could have did a lot of heads. Like he had family and stuff. I could have did his wife or whatever. I could have did their hair. I was like, oh, that's what's up. Hold up. Do y'all hear this, dog? She, this is this nigga that told this girl she, she could have did his mama her, his wife her, his cousin her. He like, I was just down here. We was lit. You feel me? You could have did they her. I don't understand. So, like a couple of days after that, I told him where I worked at. He called my job. What? And I answered the phone. I'm the manager at the hair salon, and I answered the phone, and he said, "Hey, Mary, it's Don Gray." I said, "No, it's not." I. He said, "Yeah, how you doing?" I was like, "What?" I said, "I said, okay, I told you where I work, but you just de- decided on yourself to." Look up the phone number and call my job. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, so, and that's how we started talking. I told mm. him, because I was busy at the salon. He said, you can't really talk now. I said, no, can you, what's is wrong on my part? I said, can you take my personal number now? Because, you know, I just felt, you know, he, you know, him and my brother were cool. They know each other for a long time or whatever. So, he said, yeah, he took my number down. And then five minutes later, he called me back. And he was like, um, I want to do something big for your brother. I said, okay, that's cool. What's what's up? You know, because I'm busy. And he said, oh, I'm just to let you know, I don't do social media. I said, oh, okay, I got his game. He, he got my number now. He don't do social media. I was like, wow. So that. So nigga, you talk to her all the time on social media. Mm-hmm. After you met her, once you got the hitter, you don't do social media, right? <laughs> mm. How we started talking for the past couple of months and. Yeah. So now, has yeah. he ever made any like sexual passes towards you or anything? Um. Uh. Well, when he came up last week, it was well. He he, he said because he was asking me, you know, through text and stuff, what size or you know about my breast. He said he liked areolas and how big are yours and. Um, when he saw me in person, he said, you don't look like you're a triple D. And he was like, prove it. And I'm like, how am I going to prove that? Uh, I'm not going to uh, uh. pull out my breast in my workplace, outside my workplace. And, you know, okay, pause. Um, I guess he was in Alabama. What now, up? my question now is. What's up? Because I'm a wife. Nigga wants to see them teddies. I <laughs> want to know if she knew who John Gray was. Let's get on that side, too. You know that he's a married man, right? Oh. This lady that's in the car. Yeah, I mean, at this point, he trying to do something for her brother. That's all that she knows. When did the sex come in then? Before that? Oh, no. We, I don't, you know what? It was before that. It was before that? Let's see. Go ahead. Oh, shit. And, um... He said he was at the hotel. He um, sent me a um, 
he was he FaceTiming, and he was laying, I guess, in the bed, and he was showing me his underwear, he on his white shirt. I was like, oh, my God, what are you doing? And, yeah, and... Girl, did you get that screenshot? Please tell me you got that screenshot of that man in his... Yeah, but okay, so maybe the sex wouldn't. But where the sex happened at then? I don't know. She said that nigga asked for some titty shots, and she just screenshotted some titties off, off the uh, off of the Googles, mm. and you know sent them on over. She was like, "Cause you know my I want my first of all ain't no faces on them, so I wasn't gonna send my face." Right. You know, the thing about it, even if sex didn't occur, that's fine. Sex didn't occur. My thing about him is like, why would you even open that door? Fam, why is you even contacting this woman? Why are you? You contacting genuinely this didn't want to do any of the things that you said you wanted to do. Why are you contacting this woman? Why? Flat out. If you want to be single, be single. No, this is your third time, bro. So obvious, he wants to be single. Flat out. It's just the the. <sighs> nah, I got I got two apologies. Um. You want the one before church or the one during the sermon or after the sermon was over? <laughs> Whichever one you want to give, baby. Come on. All right, we're going to go. Uh, we're going to go before church. This is before church. Because it is written. But I want to take a moment today to give a a bit of context and clarity around the message that you're about to receive. Over the past days, there have been any number of stories in blogs and social media about me. And I believe that the body of Christ and those who are leaders are to be held to a higher standard according to scripture. And a part of today. According to scripture. <sighs> this is what I don't like either. Nigga, when you get caught, nigga, you keep the church and God about this shit. Cause we ain't had they ain't had nothing to do with this. It's between you and you and the devil. This message speaks to those places that have been swirling. I want to make it clear that though my conversational and emotional breaches are wrong. Okay. They're wrong. Okay, his conversational and emotional. You see how he trying to kept, he kept sexual out of it because allegedly it was not sex is what he's saying, and it was just conversation. Right, so but I mean, if you ask, door. so okay, so if I ask, if I ask somebody to send me something that's not that's not sexual, if you ask that's somebody to send a picture, intentions, yes, right, he left out sexual. It ain't intercourse, but it's still it's sexual. Not, but I think it's. Yeah. This was not physical or sexual. I've only ever been with one woman that is my wife. But the air. Now, who the hell believed John? Who believed John? He said he only been with one woman. His wife. You had a whole hotel room with the chick at the Stella Awards, bro. And she she came out and allegedly said the child smashed. Wow. It's just sad. Yes, where I have missed the mark. Do not absolve me of responsibility. But I wanted to give you context and clarity so that you can receive this message the way God intends for it to be received. It is my prayer that God would allow your heart to be open and your spiritual I'm giving you all be attentive to what he's saying to the church. Let my life be an example to you of how God wants integrity and holiness to be the calling cards of his leaders to my wife. See, dog, like that make my skin crawl. Like when you like when you doing this shit and you bring God into it, bro. And I'm not like that's 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 dead wrong, bro. And I'm not even I'm not trying to say that like again, we are human. I get it, we make mistakes. But how many times do you make the same mistake over and over and over again? 
Like you, you, you're supposed to learn from your mistakes, right? That's how yeah. we grow. And this ain't no regular mistake. Like, like this is not. This not like leaving the water on, or you know, wife, you always leave the flat irons on. Oh my god! You know what I'm saying? And you know what I'm saying? It's not nothing like that. Like nigga, nigga what? And like she is, she. I commend her. Absolutely, take my hat off to her. Yeah, if she is, I hope she finna go. Cause she stood by him. Flat out. The first mistake, all right, we got it. It's allegedly yeah, whatever, mistake, baby, I got you. The second mistake, she told that nigga he was finna go, and he bought her a Lambo. Come on now. So she the stayed. second mistake, all right, come on now. You making the, uh, the mistake again? Yeah, and this time you were yeah, in the hotel no, with her. No, sir. In the same hotel as me. Ain't no coming back from that, bro. Not not from no black woman, for real, for but real. Th- this is the thing. Like, I, you know, in her, in her heart, she knows what it is. Now we saying this and we going off of media. She know what it is. Like she has to know what is going on. Like she has to know that there's a situation at home that's not. So you think she knows what's going on? Of. I don't. I think that she she feels she knows what's going on. She knows if he's cheating or not. Oh, uh, so she so basically is she giving him the go? Is that what you saying? No, I don't think she's giving him the go. I think that she is. It's either she know he's cheating or she know he's not cheating. That's what I'm saying. And she know if their home is happy or if this, their home is not happy. She knows that. We know when there's an a issue. Like, just like, wouldn't you know if there was an issue? Um, you know me. Like, you know if, my, if my, my, I don't know. My, my body language switch up, James. You know it. I don't know. My mind be everywhere, but. <laughs> what? Oh, motherfucking. That shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I but don't I, know. But uh, yeah, man. Hold up, we got we got to hear him talk to his wife. I love you. I honor you today for loving me, for walking with me, not only in therapy, but for the insight that you've given me to begin to do the work as we have been doing for some time now, but to continue in that process. Thank you, Aventer. I love and honor you, and I thank God for you and our children. To the Relentless Church, may the very best days of our church be in front of us, because they are certainly not behind us. God bless you. Now let's go to church. Yeah, so that was pre-sermon. He just had a whole spill for her. He had a whole spit. Flat out. And this is. Uh, and I'm finna, I'm finna go. I'm gonna give y'all all the sauce because I know a lot of women listen to the podcast. So I know y'all want to know everything. Y'all want to know all of the, all of the juice. But what was you saying? Nothing. I just this whole situation is just sad to me. I just don't even want to talk about it. No more. But it is wild. It just it's I just don't it's just sad. It's sad. It's so sad. Yeah. And I don't know their relationship and that's why I kinda I don't know what, what it is. Like only they really know. But all this stuff coming out, sir. What do you mean only they really know? What's going on? You like, keep sounding like you're implying that she's just giving this nigga to go to fuck hoes. Like that's not what I'm implying. I'm saying they know what their relationship is. I feel like she. I don't know. I don't know. This re- this is sad. That's all I. You know. know what this? You know what they need to do? What do they need to do? This is what they need to I do. Can't, I couldn't you know go what? through it. What's her name? Aventer. 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 No, it's Aventer. Lady A, look, this is what you need to do. You need to go and take your ass to that red table. Hey, Amen. Oh, wow. Go and go to that red table. And let it all out. <sighs> Write you a book first. Mm, mm, mm. Flat out. Called Cheated and Defeated. <laughs> Ooh, the church going to eat that up. Holler at me. I need 10%. Oh, my God. You Look, so ignorant. <laughs> cheated and Defeated. And then when your book finna drop, you can just go and go to the red table. So you telling her that she needs to <laughs> what is it? She need to go to the red table. This? Yeah, I would tell her to go to Oprah, but Oprah ain't really popping like that no more. Like red table is it. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Social media. Yeah, she needs to go to the red table. 
But, I don't uh, know. But I, I mean, I feel like I just, I, I, I feel sorry for her. That's what I, I hope she, whatever. God, I just hope she's, <laughs> I don't even know. Yeah. This the, this the doing the sermon. Mm, mm, mm. And just that apology. Wife, I say to her now in this moment, Aventer, I am sorry for the pain that I have caused you. And my prayer is that the life I live from this moment will be one worthy of the love that you have extended and that our family receives from. I am grateful for you, for our children, and I pray that God would restore the joy that we had in the days when we would drive around the city dreaming. Fam, you couldn't come with nothing better than that. Mm -hmm. Riding around the city dreaming. And you know he apologizing for this, so he he's admitting to, to doing this. That is so sad. Hold on, now. Like, like, he got to apologize. So he admitting to doing it. I mean, we know he did it. He know he did it. She know he did it. That's oh god. Just a little piece of my you heart know wanted more than everyone else. <laughs> the areas of pain not to that have I've done her like this for years. The horrific self fulfilling prophecies. That you told me, stop confessing those things. But I believe that this moment had to come so that God could make me the man I need to be. <laughs> but I'm sorry for the pain that I've caused. You don't deserve it. Mm. You're an amazing woman of God. And I love you. Mm. And I will face me so that the man that comes out of this moment will be able to honor you in a way that I never have before. Mm. To my church. Mm -hmm. I am sorry. You've gone through enough from cars to meetings with leaders that have caused great pain and deep division amongst political ideologies. Right. You know he went to go see Trump, right? What? Yeah. A couple of years ago, y'all. You remember Trump had all the black preachers up there. Oh, yes. He yes. was one of them. I absolutely, you sure right. So that's what oh. he's talking about. Yep. To one thing oh, yes. after another, I want to tell you I'm sorry. The standard has not changed. Mm. Holiness is still right. And I want you to know that it is my prayer that from this moment of true repentance, that you will see emerge from this moment a pastor that you can be proud of. Nigga, you gonna have to, to you gonna have to uh be ready to emerge a new church because I don't know nobody show up for that shit. Oh yeah, I hope I, I'm not log loyal in. after that. You better know I am I not hope loyal. Nobody log in. I hope don't nobody do nothing, brother. Flat Shouldn't out. Shouldn't nobody ever. Mm -mm. Right, dog. You tripping, like, dog? On. Flat out. Like, I'm telling you, just a little bit in my heart like, wanting him to not have done this. Like, for him to, like, man, like, he just For him, you want him to have an alibi? I don't know. Like, he's something. Like, I didn't want her to have to feel that pain. But, like, he is low down. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Ugh. I'm a man. I'm all for a man having chances, but there's levels to this shit. Those type of chances. And Jesus if you're gonna, if you're Christ. Gonna, if you're going to be all the way in the public eye, bro, you got to move different. You can't be moving like that, though. Mm -mm. And you should know better than that. So yeah, she need to go ahead and go and leave. Cause he ain't gonna do nothing. Keep fucking. It's gonna be a fourth time. Flat out. It's gonna be a fourth time. Flat out. So what do you think is wrong though? So what's wrong? He a freak. What you? <laughs> what you okay, mean? Okay, so he a freak and she not. I don't know. Like dang. I mean, she could be. You and know what I'm saying? Still want more. Right. Wow. Or maybe it's some things that, you know, she might not do that he wanted to get done. Flat out. Like, but. And you can't do that when you married. Like, no, like, when you, you gotta, when you like, married, like, you can't, you can't. You can't move like that. Like, you can't I'm supposed not, to, like, be able to do everything that my husband, like, wants me. Right. Shoot, his freak gotta match my freak. But, yeah, <laughs> flat out. But it's women out here that tell a nigga off the rip, I'm not doing that. I'm Dang. not doing that. I'm not doing that. So. But, like, okay, so. 
you not doing it at the beginning or you not doing it at all or you don't ain't never did it? What is it? I'm not doing it. Like I don't get it. Right. You but don't know what you're gonna do if you love somebody. At that point, you know what I'm saying? I would give her some time and then if she still ain't down, then we're gonna have to have a sit down and I'm gonna have to be like, yo, mm-hmm. this is a deal breaker for me. Okay. And that there and you go. Either we gonna separate or you're gonna let me do my thing. Communication. We gotta talk about it. You let me know how you feeling about it, and it's up to me to decide if I wanna change or not. Flat out. Completely. Straight up. And then at that moment, like you really have to be true honest with yourself and decide, am I gonna really change? Like, is this what I want? Like Yeah, flat out. But yeah, I think everybody should know everybody's deal breakers. Yeah, you gotta get them nuts. Get them nuts got to get got. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and it's been a year. They got to get got. Hey, so look. if they ain't got nothing, you you gone. <laughs> hey. I mean, I don't feel like you should live any life unhappy. Yeah. Or not receiving everything you want to receive. I think everybody has that one thing that's a deal breaker for them. Yeah. I really do. Yeah. But you got to you got to decide that in the beginning though, y'all. You can't decide that when y'all you know, married, been married. Right, but you know years. some men think that, you know, once this happens, then shit going to change. This is going to happen. Right. But see, that comes with communication. And thank God, you, your communication is wonderful, and it has yeah, taught me to have it. good communication. It really does. I'm coming straight to you. I really think it has that taught me how to communicate better with people. Because, like, I'm a, what is it? I'm a, a introvert. No, I'm not. I'm an You ain't no introvert. You I'm soft. Holy. You soft. I'm not soft. <laughs> That's what it is. I have a heart. I really do. Right, which makes you soft. No, but I can also have a, having having a heart assertive. equals soft. No, I don't think that's right. It do. It does not. I know y'all agree with me. Y'all ain't got to. I'll be y'all ain't gotta It listen does to not. You do not have to be soft and have a heart. You can still be soft and assertive. I am firm but fair. Is what I always say about myself. You would rather spare somebody feelings than to no. tell them like it is. No, I, you know what I. I would, you know what? I would. I don't want to hurt nobody's feelings. <laughs> See, no, you, go. you saw. You're right. I no, yeah. I don't want to hurt nobody's feelings, but I am going to tell you the honest God truth about how I feel about it. Yeah, I might not go off on you. Like the degree to my response is going to be Asshole-ish. the level of what you did. No, it's going to be assholes, y'all. If you, did. <laughs> it ain't going to be assholes. You know James, what I'm James tells it like it is. Yeah, but that ain't being an asshole. He's very blunt. And sometimes it is being an ass. I'll be like, dang. This is the thing. I want you to like know exactly what I'm talking about. I, and he says that all the time. I'm not a beat around the bush. <laughs> and I get it. You know what I'm saying? Because like too many times people say, oh, well, I didn't know that's what you meant. Well, you didn't say that. Right. Well, you didn't. You didn't. No, nah, I'm going to tell you exactly. So you don't what have the no confusion go down. of what's going on. Yeah. But you know, I respect it. I absolutely respect it and i love it that's the one thing i absolutely love about him yeah ain't no cushion like and i just don't be i be wanting to tell raw you dog. And tell somebody in a, a loving way but i want you to be able to, i want to be like okay but this is what i would not what i would do but this is how i feel about the situation yeah and again like it's up to you to make your own decision like who am i this yeah. is how i feel you make your decision but i still love you right I have a heart. I got an example of the difference, right? Okay. So let's say you got you you got an office, right? Mm-hmm. Let's say a pen come missing off your desk, and mm-hmm. you got a, you share an office with another person. Mm-hmm. You're going to say, "Hey, have you seen my pen?" <laughs> That's what you're going to say. I'm going to say. Did you take my motherfucking pen off my desk? Yes, <laughs> yes, exactly. That is exactly. I am going to be Fam, like, don't touch my shit. But this is what I'm going to say. Hey, did you take my pen? No, you're not. Listen. You're going to say, have you seen? You definitely hey, going to say, have you seen? No, that's okay. All right, let's go that route because I would. Hey, have you seen my pen? And if they say yes, I'm going to say, oh, okay, next time just let me know if you want it and you can use it. No, nah, see, that's you didn't exa- let me know. You didn't kill let me know. That motherfucker dead. <laughs> don't touch my shit now. 
Because you just, already broke your boundaries. Right. But Don't the thing touch is, my shit. you're going to respect is, my boundaries now. Yeah. Because I let you know in a nice way and I didn't go, I didn't no, become an like asshole. The, the, the nice stuff, that's not. Nah. Well, that's fine. But then you, I, nah. I feel like you give people, ch- oh my God, here you go. Yeah. <laughs> just asshole is y'all. I want them to feel like, <laughs> yeah, nigga, shit. Nigga. Damn, I ain't got no pen. Nigga, you're going to walk out this office and go so, somewhere else and find you a pen oh, Lord. before you reach your hand across him. <laughs> Flat out. You know, I already draw that. You already drew the line, fam. Man. Flat out. I got to let you know this like this so you can know I'm dead serious. Right. And you can't say, when I, because I don't still, I still don't want to walk in my office and you be like, what's up, bro? I use your pen. No, nigga. <laughs> well, you said let you know. No, nigga. Don't touch my shit. No, you let me know. Can you, I'm, baby, I know yeah, how nah. to be. All right, what else? Look, so I want you wanted to talk about egos. Oh yeah, egos in a relationship. And like I feel like John Gray, his ego of being Oh yeah. All that tie in together. He got a big taking, ego. Like Yeah. The ego of you being like, okay, this big pastor. Yeah. If he didn't have an ego, it never would have been the second time. Right. Egos ruin relationships. You yeah. said it. Yeah, egos ruin relationships. You can't have an ego in a relationship. You can have an ego everywhere else. You want to have an ego at work? Go ahead. The gym? Go ahead. Even but, even church? Go ahead. But in marriage, you can't have no ego, fam. You like can't everybody got to come in dry. Right. Like you got to come in dry. And then I think that's another thing that I don't know. Is ego in a relationship is can you find that out in the beginning? I think you probably can. Like a controlling person. That's somebody whose ego is in the way. Yeah, controlling. Controlling. Oh, um, God. Um, like, e- egos ruin relationships. Selfish. You got to have compromise. Yeah. You got you to gotta have an ego to be selfish. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, a lot of selfish motherfuckers got an ego. You know what I'm saying? You got financial egos where, you know... I make more money to you, and I you make, make more, more money, money to me, me, and you ruin it, and you mean you exactly. ruin it. Like it's a team. And I held it down while your bald head ass went to school. It's a team. And now you ready to kick me because you making a hundred and twenty thousand a year. It takes a team, like it really does. Yeah, you can't have no ego, man. No egos ruin relationships. Wow, that's 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 really deep. But I just didn't know. Like at first, I was thinking like, okay, I wanted to be like, oh, have I ever have a e- had an ego? In the relationship, I think at the like the beginning. No, nah, I don't think there was no ego. Oh, there wasn't. There was like the. Yeah, that was mad black woman. <laughs> Flat out, yeah. She used to tell me I wasn't shit. Oh, I never said that. Like he always said, he said fam, that. She told so me be, I wasn't shit. Baby, how many times I tell you? How what? Flat out, this nigga was mad because we was going broke paying bills. <laughs> Like damn, the bills paid, cuz you know what? And I, I'd have been broke before without the bills being paid. So in the beginning, we was paying bills and was broke. You feel me? Flat out, yeah. we wouldn't be flat broke, but we was broke. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it was like I was good. You know what I'm saying? Like I'd have been broke with, without the bills being paid. So and then I broke I with don't the bills paid. That's a that's a, <laughs> a huge step up. You I feel was me? a mad black woman when we first met. I ain't gonna lie. Straight up. Flat like, out. I ain't I you couldn't tell me nothing. I ran my own household. You know, I didn't it, it but you couldn't tell me shit. Right. But you know, I I I had been hurt. And I had been like running my own stuff, like taking care of my kids by myself. You know, I was this independent. But she woman. get paid and had to pay all the bills, boy, and be broke, boy. I wasn't used to, I'm telling you. He was going you. off on me. And I'm like, and he gets I, everything gave, he I got. gave all I had. Right. And I'm like, no, you I'm broke didn't. Too. You know, at the beginning, ain't nobody telling you how much you're getting paid. <laughs> so I'm like, you ain't give all you got. <laughs> I know you got some more money. I was done wrong. I never told him he wasn't shit. Not and I put up ever. With, I put up he with all of that. It. I put up with all of that. For you to lie to me and tell me you you ain't had you had ding like swinging <laughs> in your face, I can't. I still ain't got over that, child. Oh Lord, I asked Jessica about that the other day. <laughs> I can't believe that, dog. Yeah, I, I was mad, but I was. I, you know, my husband did a lot of yelling nah. on me. Nah, Mm-mm. I love him. I'm battered. No, you not. Be quiet. You a well 
You're not battered. <laughs> I am battered. You're not. You are, baby. I'm battered. What else you got on the list? Why you Why are you battered though? You <laughs> Let's give them another topic. Let's give them something else. What else y'all want to talk about? Yeah, one more. This going to be let shout. Let me see. I wonder. Um, let's see. What else? Um, we talked about compromising the relationship. I think that's that was another one I had. Ah uh, man, do you want to do the double standard? Let's do the double standard though. Of a man cheating versus a woman's cheating. Yeah. And then how men want <laughs> want to be so forgiving. But then they want a woman to be so forgiving, right? But boy, right. let a, a woman cheat on a man. That man is cutting her off. Disloyal. Nasty. But I don't understand. Tatiana. Because why doesn't the loyalty should go both ways? It do go both ways. Okay, so you know what? So when you cheat and we dating, you're supposed to cut them off. There you go. All right, there you go. You heard it from a man. I never said that. What you mean? Flat out. I never said that. It never came out of my mouth. That's what he just Fellas, what up? Said. Ill Mac in the building. <laughs> no. I, I think that's playing. such a double standard, though. Like, how do you ask somebody for forgiveness? But see, this is the thing, right? What's the thing? Because you're supposed to look, you're supposed to love your wife Five times, right? For okay. your wife. Yeah, the, the, your that's wife. a totally different thing. Yeah. You know, your girlfriend, you know what I'm saying? You might no. be able to get a little... little, little you know what? Little something off. You and, know what I'm saying? And somebody said that. They was like, well, you know, a girlfriend... But I ain't like, going to say that. Because a lot of niggas be faithful with girlfriends. Yeah. Straight up. A lot of niggas be faithful all the way through. It's that loyalty. Like, you loyal to me, and then that's why women but fall see, in love, because they, like, you. I know you loyal to me. Yeah. I, like, got, I know you got my, my heart. I know you got me my best interest in heart. All right. Can I debunk this? Go ahead and de- Let me debunk, debunk this. this. Okay. If you want to go down to the root of the problem, mm-hmm. you have to go back to the motherland. Okay. Oh my God! In the motherland, go. baby, no. Before we was brought over here, come on, what a, thing. a man can have nine wives. Uh, uh-uh, uh, no, nah, don't, don't touch nothing. I need a sounder. No, nah, you don't need nothing. <laughs> you don't need nothing. A man had could have up to nine wives. You didn't have oh to have God. nine. Get you can have two. You can have three. James, get you can get have one here, if you okay. wanted one. Oh my God! What happened was they put us on that damn boat, and we came over here and got Americanized. And they done broke us down to one woman. That's systematic. He's so that's I'm systematic not, oppression not, right don't there, y'all dog. Listen to his crazy ass. Straight up, that's systematic <laughs> oppression. We supposed to have, we supposed to be able to have multiple women, and they didn't bring us over here to America Whatever. and made us have one. Well, the white man know that's a struggle you in for us. Now, goddamn it! <laughs> I don't know. Let me stop cursing. I'm Straight sorry. up. Yeah. Whatever. Whatever. Shit. All this, yeah. This, I wish I could hear the sound. I don't know what these sounds. I'm gonna learn them. Down. Shit, Wakanda forever. <laughs> you talking about man? Oh my Flat god! Flat out, and that's the root of the problem. That's the root. And of then another thing is, I'm finna. Uh, since I debunked that real quick, fellas, what up? I'm in here. Oh uh, my god! <laughs> yeah. Another issue. It's not really an issue. I'm finna put the ladies up on game. Okay. Okay. Now. Social media, all right? Yo, man, it's seeing a little more ass now, okay? Oh, gosh. It's a lot of ass on social media. Your man and your kids seeing all this all this stuff, too. Like, this is just ridiculous. Go ahead. Yeah, but, I mean, you know, we was watching Sir Mix a lot. Flat out. Oh, yeah. Luke, you know what I'm saying? I'm looking at all them videos on the box, you know what I'm mm, saying? Mm, mm. Shout out to my 80s baby. You right. Hey. But, Okay. <laughs> Uh, so you might have to, you know, go ahead and give them that WAP more than one time a week, more than two times a week. You know, add add a, add an extra one. You know what I'm saying? Flat out, because the nigga he's gonna stay ready. Like it's all ass on but social you, media. But do you think so? Some men are not. Do you think that all men? No, that I no, I know that all men do not have the same sex drive. Yeah, like oh yeah, it's 
all niggas don't love to fuck. But see, like, that's how you gotta find All women don't out. love to, to, to fuck either. Right, so that's, that's why, why you gotta two find... two people that don't like fucking should be together. Yes. Right. Like, you have to find who right for you. I mean, mm. having Your sex, too. gotta meet I'm, my, meet I'm, my I'm dropping an F-bomb, like, Hiroshima. You, <laughs> yes, you are. But, uh... Yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you putting on something sexy for that nigga. If you know that's what, what you like, and if that's what you like. If that's what he like, then you need to be doing it. If that's what you like. So that's why you with that's somebody nothing. that that's, that's why outfit. you with somebody that's not, who who matches you. Ain't nobody you. telling you to get no motherfucking no uh cheek injections or nothing. This is an outfit. You need to do that. No, okay? you do it if you what the hell? Y'all gotta come on. You now. ain't no damn do it. You ain't no do it if you want to. What you mean? <laughs> You wanna try to see, act like You about baby, to strike a nerve talking you about are it, my uh what? My husband. I love to do it for my husband. Okay, right. But you telling them if they don't want to do it, they ain't got to no, do I'm it. No, I'm saying like no, what if, if you, you got don't somebody who do don't it. what if you got somebody who don't do it though? If you got somebody who don't do it and, and, your, and the man goes to her don't see all and that. he say No, he gotta wanna see all that. Sorry, y'all. Yeah, if so he yeah, say go ahead and show it to him. You know what I'm saying? Let's go buy some sexy shit or, you know, uh, yeah, get you, you gotta some go. Let's go. Yeah, you gotta go. You gotta do that. You whether got you to. wanna do it or not. Or it's he an wanna outfit. see you in that. He's telling you he wants you in that. Okay, let's go. I got you I you totally got it. Yeah. And shit, but, if you think I'm sexy, I know I'm sexy. Yeah, you gotta uh, <laughs> get your uh gotta get your motherfucking sex on a little more. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, you gotta absolutely like please your you make because after all the ass on the internet, here you go back to all the ass. He got to come home, and you got to let that nigga know this is the main ass. Hey, okay, no, I'm just playing. <laughs> I'm just this playing. is yours. You know what I'm saying? You got to let him know that. You sure do. What Flat that, out. Um, you absolutely do. Like for real, you absolutely. Yeah, do. straight like, up. And I think that like. Flat out, like fellas, stop putting that drawers on. Stop putting drawers get. on in the crib. And let that thing sway, <laughs> swing low. <laughs> Flat out, shit, y'all. Flat I out. think this is enough. He's going you gotta go, too far. Right, you gotta go, man. Then go out here sometime in the crib. You know what I'm saying? Flat out. Okay. He is ignorant. I can't take it. Hey, I'm just trying to keep it spicy. Oh Lord. Mm, okay. <coughs> you got it. All right. Um Yeah, that's episode two. We finna get up out of here. Yep. Um it's Saturday morning. It's Saturday. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know y'all get this right after we do it. Like it ain't no lapse. It's yes. like it, we yes, do it and shout it uploads. Out, I gotta shout out my my husband is amazing, y'all. I'm for real. Like I absolutely love him. He does all his own editing. Y'all, those videos that he be putting up. He does all of that himself. Like you would think he like he's great. He's wonderful. Sorry. But I just wanted to um still working for the white man though. I'm on my way out. You know what I'm saying? That's okay. Power to the people, black power, you know what I'm saying? You on your way out. Right out. Justice for Rihanna Taylor. You know what I'm saying? Please, God. I saw another video where another king got uh, got a knee put in his neck and all of that and died. You know what I'm saying? So keep your head. You know what I'm saying? So sad. That's why you got to appreciate your man out here. Flat out, y'all need to be loving on that man. Yes, you better. Y'all be mad because he leaving his drawers in the bathroom. Girl, you gonna pick them drawers up? <laughs> the hell? <laughs> pick them up because up. once he realize you're tired of picking them, he gonna take consideration. Pick if he up ready to, then you know. If he ready to, yeah. Just because I start picking, I don't know. I'm finna start leaving my shit back on the floor. Don't you do it? I'm finna. No, why? Just cause. That is. All right, y'all. We gonna go because he right. go. <laughs> All right, make sure y'all go follow uh, Mr. and Mrs. Mac 314 on Instagram. All right, we on Apple Podcasts too now, y'all. Yeah, Apple Podcasts, yeah. That's, hey. They finally kicked in. Mrs. Mr. The and sign, Mrs. Mac. That's the um, podcast. Yeah. And make sure you all go follow. Yeah, go uh, shop Paparazzi. Okay. It's paparazziaccessories.com. Slash three seven five eight four nine. I'm telling y'all, y'all gonna find stuff on there that you want. Like for real, y'all. You gonna find like cute little simple stuff, and it's gonna be five dollars. Like you can find rings, you can find little kids some stuff, and it take a couple weeks. It take like a week or two to come. But go ahead and shop it. I'm doing the um. I have a few items. Take pictures of. I'm gonna take pictures of them. Put them up, and they're gonna go uh three for twelve. 
I'm going to do that. If you want some, you want to put, just let me know. Uh, just hit me in the, what, the DM? The DM. All right. Flat out. All right, y'all. Peace. All right, we out.